together. We only need the two of us together. Cause we got love.
Hello and welcome to Open Roads Adventure Exploration First Look Gameplay Part 1 on SDPC. And yeah, we've um, looked at the trailer, trailer and it looks pretty good game. And um, it's about mother and daughter um, going on the trip, looking for their memories and all that, looking for answers and all that. Um, hey, Kamama. Hey, Dominici. Hey, Polistic. I hope you're all doing good. And thank you all for the two likes, you guys are awesome. And um, without further ado, let's boot up the game. And then I'll get you over to the right screen once it's loaded. So three streams in today. We've got one I just finished, the Centre Station Simulator. And now I'm back just on YouTube for this one, just on YouTube with open roads and then a little bit later we're going to continue shadow of the tomb raider uh, that's set at 9 p.m uk time <clears throat> okay so options let me check uh graphics here i dominate on ultra sound uh music can go down just a Touch, just a touch. Dialogue, then touch. Uh, effects can go down just a little bit. Ambient can go down just a touch. You did it last week on release. All oh, nice. Yeah, I think I remember seeing a little bit.
Right, gameplay, auto save, advanced, text speed, link to copyright music. Nope. So I'll turn the copyright music off, unfortunately, because I don't want to get claims. Okay, so let's start. Okie dokie. So here we go. Oh. Get you over to that screen. There you go, you're on the right screen now. Forgot that you were still on the loading game. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then D to flip. Me, Mum, Grandma, Helen, Grandma's 80th. Yeah. Oh. Okie doke. Right, Mum wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. Just a few things left before I can cross it off my to-do list. Okay, so... What does it, what does it want me to do? I'll pack up, okay. Right, uh, so I've got to find some pick up. Ah, Nevada. Home to all mm. manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads. Mm. Pack up. Mm -hmm. no. Have to pack up. Have to pack up. Have to pack up, okay. Have to pack up. Right. Uh, right. Have to pack up. Hmm. Better leave these where Mom won't see them. Look closer. Put back. Pack up. Pack up. Wall cup. And Romada. Theater. Ooh, now. Alright, got that. Pick up posters. Help, help tag things for estate sell. Guess I'll have to pack this after my next shift. Helen Sophia Divine. <laughs> Chemistry. Ooh. Mm. 
Oh, I'm, I remember, hey Wesley, how you doing buddy, um, I remember those little things, little game, little keyring game little things, I remember them. Trash. Pick up clip article. Hmm. 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 Open closet. All right. Pack up. Hmm. Head downstairs. Taz? Yeah? Come down to the basement. I'm looking all There's pain something I want to hard, show you. I'm doing good. The basement? What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh. This? Gah! love it! Where did this masterpiece come from? You like the art style? <laughs> yeah. Your Aunt August made it. When she was a kid. It's Lady, the dog we had when we were growing up. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about... The estate sale was... weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff... I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom... I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the yeah, house is, out from under yeah, us. I know. Wanna just take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture. <laughs> Amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. Uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Uh, oh my god. Uh, Just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know. Most of Grandma's hair and stuff was sold off for the estate, so I haven't really had a chance to look around and see what's left until now. So dapper. Was this Grandpa's? Hmm. 
Grandma's advice column was popular, wasn't it? For a little while, like yeah. Might be I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. Dog I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. You remember that? Yeah. I mean, people in the audience seemed so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Well, hey, go -go. she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house wasn't such a good idea. Read. No one gives advice like Millie. Life. With her wit, wisdom and inaffordable fat, uh, tact, dear Millie has been charming readers for over 15 years. Found in newspapers nationwide, Millie doles out sage advice to over 5 million readers weekly. Gathered here for the first time are some of the most engaging responses from the sage of the Midwest. On matters of home, parenting and romance, there's never been a question that Millie can't handle. Can't do anything with it though. I think I can watch this. Love this game. Ah, oh, do we see? Didn't need to cancel your stream, buddy. But very much appreciated, bud. Yeah, it looks just like a piece of wood. I think. I think it's to open up so you can change the picture. I believe. Uh, laundry detergent. Anything up here? Pick up mallet hammer. Calculator. Grandpa Leo was mm. a... An inspector for the county. What's that mean? He inspected things for the county. Oh, <laughs> great, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he'd point out the ones he'd inspected. I remember he was very proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street? Every foot of electrical, fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings in town from burning down. Electrical fires are no joke. Hmm. Jean County, Michigan, employee's identification card, Leonard Lambros. Hmm. Read. Age 43 years of Orange Street, Greenville, Greenville my died July 28, 1968 at Alexandria Regional Hospital. He was a veteran of the Second World War, serving a, as a surveyor with the 107rd Field Artillery Battalion, scouting out enemy positions from the front lines. He later worked for Qing County as a building inspector, surviving 
So surviving are his wife Helen Lambros and his daughters Opal and August Lambros. Funeral arrangements under the direction of the Milton Family Funeral Home. Uh, whatever that steals are incomplete. around in here no why isn't this in the fridge getting cold come on mom for tomatoes room bucket coffee pot hmm Wow, was this... was this taken right here? Cool. That's Grandpa? Mm-hmm. Probably only a year before he died. Of a heart attack? Yeah, very sudden. But Aww. I guess that's how heart attacks are. Ooh. Okay. No bucket, don't worry, we'll look in there. Oh, well, there might be something in it. Nope. No, no, nothing in there. Shoes, coat, key hanger. I'll go outside. TV, cups, cigarettes. Ugh, Mom, please quit already. Remember those are little hoovers. Oh, how did this end up down here? Huh. Must have been in a drawer of something that got sold. This is from one of the first digs Dad and I went on. Oh, it was kind of adorable how excited you both got about going on those digs. I remember being so sure that we would actually find bootlegger gold. Or at least a clue about it. <laughs> Your dad. <sighs> well, at the very least, he certainly had a way of firing up your imagination. I'll give him that. Flip over. Lens. Creek. No dice. Lens. Creek. No dice. Hey, little lady. Just dropping off a like and running away. This is on my list to play also. Ah, uh, yeah, no spoilers. Yep, I understand. But thank you for popping in, little lady. Did 
Did Grandma start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Mm-hmm. After my father passed, my mother, well... <laughs> Turned into a hippie. <laughs> a bit of a free spirit, let's say. Doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have. To push her in the opposite direction. Right, anything of the in here. What's this thingy? Maybe to smooth out the surface so there's no bumps? Welcome back, Kogo. No, it looks like, yeah, clay making. Good, some of Grandma's pottery didn't get sold. I loved watching her at the potter's wheel when I was little. Had she been doing pottery her whole life? Honestly, I think it's something else she picked up after my dad passed. Like the you advice had, column? You had company. No, she was doing that since I was a kid. Did Grandma... Was she ever with anyone else after Grandpa died? Whoa, where did this come from? Well, she just seems so vivacious. You'd think some man would be interested. Yeah, no, I'm not that I know of. Anything in there? No. Sticky notes. Nothing else in here. So what else have I got to do then? Oh, what? hey. <laughs> oh, I thought that was my phone. <laughs> Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. <laughs> it was <your> phone. <laughs> but that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's um, fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not going to help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go. Aren't all this cool? I don't really for some book that's important to her for some reason, apparently. It's probably somewhere upstairs.
Oh, somebody bought Grandma's old writing desk? And her typewriter. He said he was an advice columnist, too, and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a lot of money? Well, <laughs> it was just an old desk. But it had sentimental value. For us, maybe. And for him, obviously. Can I see the note? Sure. read your mother has always been an inspiration not just to me but to an entire generation of writers and readers hey Steph I can tell you how much peace she's brought me over the years to be able to write where she did well I hope a little of her magic crosses over to me yours Ben Gerber Well, okay. I guess it's all right that he got it. <laughs> Glad you approve. Want to know something? Your grandmother <laughs> didn't Excuse write me. this. I did. You did? Were you nervous? Uh, a little, I guess. I definitely didn't feel like I could live up to Millie. But it was just for one column. Her editor helped a lot. I'm glad I got to do it. So the book's not in here. Hey Tess, we're doing movie night at, at your place. Yes, yes we are. What movies are you bringing from work? It is comedy. Dob double feature night. I'll give you one clue as to which movies they are going to be. What is it? I already gave it to you. Tess, don't do this to me. You have your clue. Did not see a book in this room. Nope. I am the very model of a modern major general. I la 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 da 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 Weird bitty Jack. Oh. Pick up no. Hey, Ma! Actually, maybe I should just put this back. Sorry to hear that Mum's doing worse. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. I know this is a sore spot, so it's the last time I'll bring it up. I really wish you had. Let me help with mum's medical bills. I get that you'd rather have me there in person to help, but I just can't get away from work long enough to make that happen. I'm sorry that money is the only thing I can provide right now, but that's just the situation we're in. If you're stressed about everything you have to do, you can always send 
Tess down here for a weekend again. I love having her around. Call me if there's anything new with Mum. Love, August. Aww. No books in there. What's this? Oh, it's a hook pole thing to pull down the hatch to the attic. Could August book be up in the attic? With Grandma's things? Could be. All right. We can go up there, but... You go first. Right, so we've got to look for the attic. Okay, come on up! Oh. <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? Okay, well, this is just creepy stuff. Why are these up here? You'd rather they were downstairs? Good point. Flipping YouTube's doing that buffering again. Grandpa Leo was a bowler? He and Dad have that in common. What do you mean? Dad loves bowling. No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing those bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <laughs> Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look hip. Bowling shirts? He's right, they are hip. Hip and cool, like, um, like a guy in a ska band would wear or something. Ska? It's, um... It's... Well, on second thought, maybe it's not cool. But I think they do wear bowling shirts sometimes, or at least the ska kids at school do. So Dad was never in a bowling league or anything? He just likes the shirts? I think he liked that his little name was embroidered on them, too. I'm going to give him so much crap about this the next time we talk. Whoa. Grandma's wedding dress? I wore it on my wedding day, too. And you can wear it when you get married. I'm not getting married. <laughs> You don't know that. Did you know you were going to get married when you were my age? Sure. Or I always thought I would. Mm. Well, I know too. And I know I'm not. Bear me a second, chat if you can hear me, but my uh, stream is buffering on my end, so I don't know if you can hear me. Or if it's buffering for you guys. Okay, so it's not buffering your end. Okay, as long as it's not buffering your end, I'm happy. Marriage is an institution based on women being property. I'm having no part of it. You know when people get engaged, only the woman wears an engagement ring? 
It shows that the man has claimed you, or it's like, don't touch this, it's mine. And women used to not be able to buy a car or a house unless their husband gave them permission. I'm my own person. If I have the money, I should be able to buy a car. Well, women can now. But it's what the institution represents. I'm not getting married. I'm my own beast. I don't want to be thought of in relation to anyone else. That's how you feel now, but you might change your mind when the time comes. You know, also, if you don't get married, you can't get divorced. <sighs> So, that's a plus. Are you saying you wish your father and I had never gotten married? You know you wouldn't be here right now if we hadn't. Oh, don't even get me started on having kids. And anyway, you can have kids without getting married. So you're not getting married. You're not having kids. You've got your whole life figured out at age 16. You don't want the dress. I get it. <sighs> I mean... But it's a nice dress. It meant a lot to Grandma. And to you. Isn't that enough? <laughs> What's under here? Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm, <sighs> yeah. There's a bunch of old stuff in here, but... Uh... Mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's... something... Ah, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? Dances lie within. Ah, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think there were just too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here. Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger Gold. In our backyard, mm. you mean? Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Mm -hmm. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was a different time, Mother. Sure. Now I'm getting YouTube chat disconnected. And reconnected. YouTube having a bad day today, is it? <laughs> well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... In some kind of secret relationship? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue! Grandma, what were you up to? Cool van. <laughs> I did love that van. The engine died for good while we were visiting the summer home, and so I just turned it into my bedroom after that. <laughs> you slept in a broken down van? Well, the summer house was small, and I always had to share a bedroom with August. When I realized I could have my own space just by sleeping out in the van, it was a no-brainer. 
Did you, like, redo it to be like a bedroom inside? Yeah. Your grandfather pulled the seats out for me and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows and shelves and things like that. <laughs> wow, that's actually cool. Could I do that? With our car? No! Hey, Mom. Whoa. There was a crime spree? Oh, yeah. Yeah, department stores and fancy clothing shops. Places kept getting robbed. The police couldn't figure out how the crooks were pulling it off. It went on for, well, I mean, it felt like months. So what happened? Did they get caught? Now that I don't remember. Did Grandma write these? During the last summer, we visited the cottage. Was she... okay? Looks like her editor didn't think she was. It was only a year after my father died. I think Millie was still figuring things out, too. It must have been hard. I'm sure it was. They'd been married 20 years? I'm, I meant for you. Oh, right. I mostly just tried not to think about it. That... Doesn't seem very healthy. It got me through. Recently, one of my daughters gave me a tremendous shock. She's married apparently a college bureau and a tied it the knot without my knowledge. She claims that they wanted to ship the wedding to save up for a house but I'm very hurt by her exclusion. She knows that I have dreamed of a big wedding for a long time. How can I convince her that a marriage founded in secrecy will never last? Myth, miffed mother-in-law, Ed does know Millie is a character, put it all together. Dear Miff, number one. Half of the battle of being parents of allowing your children to make their own mistakes. Only time will tell if the marriage will stick. And the only thing you can do is make the best of it. Consider the weight on your daughter's been under the keeping of the under wraps. We all have our secrets, myself included, and not to be able to tell even one our closest loved ones can feel obviously suffocating while it can be hard to see as a child make such a foolish mistake. The best thing mother can do is to bite her tongue. Your mi yours, Millie. My husband rekindled the relationship with his high school crush, a girl he hadn't seen it since the Air Force days. They're both married and he told me that they're just friends. Against my better judgement I supported it and they started spending more and more time together. Well, I should have trusted my gut coming home early from grocery shopping. I caught them in the act. Now I'm at loss. My friend says it get divorced. My mother says to stay together for the children. What can I do? Hopeless in the heartland. Trust me, I know. It's hard to say what worse sense of betrayal or realisation you've been had. Divorce is a tricky subject, no doubt about it. I'll tell you one thing though. There's always time to start a new abandonment. And freedom are two sides of the coin. Ooh. Hey, Mom! Grandma's sunglasses? Vintage. Can I keep them? You think they're your style? Yeah. Sure. Just be careful with them. I'll guard them with my life. Hmm. Rocks. Hey, ma'am. Weird little rocks. Hmm. Ah, these little stones were from the stream near the summer house. You painted them? Me in August. The rocks from the stream were so smooth, but I forget why we painted them. <laughs> you were really that bored, huh? There weren't many TV channels back then. Mm, tragic.
Hey, Grandma's ma'am. Diary? <laughs> should we? Oh, I don't think we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. Aren't any help, they think of our breaking good neighbours, but if anyone should know where the path of good intention leads to these church ladies. The children carry on the best they can. Opal is caught up in her own teenage dramas as usual, almost as if it were any normal summer. August does worry a bit, worry me a bit. She's becoming caught more and more in her imagination. I wish I could help her, but there is so much I can't say. It's becoming a challenge keeping my correspondence with XXXXXX concealed. It's only a matter of time all brought together again a person. But to hold on, but, but to hold it all inside, not to tell a soul, it's almost too much. But he knows and I know soon enough the waiting will be over and this will all be in the rear view. Ooh. He. Hey, ma'am. What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is... A and what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I okay, well, now we've got to go check the old place out. To find out who this mystery man was. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning up the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When, when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <sighs> oh, God. You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. I could really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. A road trip! This is gonna be great. Ooh. Problem attic. Ooh, achievement. Is it okay if I turn on the radio? I don't know how much signal we'll get, but yeah, sure. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, 
When I was, I guess, 15? Your age? I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> so, a long time ago. Wow. No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. <laughs> ha ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> how old do you think hey, I am? Hey, Stoney, how you doing, I buddy? mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The Summer House? And the Dark Ages, but yeah, the Summer House. <laughs> I just always good, really actually, liked it there. Well, it was an escape. From what? Oh, well, I hope you get everything, soon, buddy. Yes, school, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. So why did you stop going? Oh, um, Hey, Kashmir. Yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? No, Dad's a hard worker. <laughs> okay. He'd work late at the video store all the time. He'd be there with the closing shift. Watching movies on the store monitors. <laughs> You've got to have something on for the customers. Closing is a pain in the butt. And he'd manage the schedules and store finances. He even made the window displays. Fine, those were pretty cool. No. I mean, I guess there is a real reason I never told your father about the old summer place. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades out there in the middle of nowhere it's got to be falling apart yeah you're right that sucks i was hoping maybe we could fix it up and use it as a vacation home <laughs> we're about to be kicked out of our actual home what would we need a vacation home for to live in to live in tess I i'm sorry it's you couldn't live there, and not, not year-round. Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. Well, it's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Okay, you know, we're not gonna be homeless. But we're getting kicked out of Grandma Helen's house. We don't have anywhere else to live. We'll find a place. What kind of place? I don't know yet. We're gonna be living in this car, aren't we? No. Just like when you lived in that van. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? When are you going to give up on the theater? Give up on it? I'm responsible for keeping it running. <laughs> for our performers and our audience and all those kids they bring to the theater on field trips. But how are we going to have money? Things will pick up. Ever since 9-11. Oh my god, Mom. This theory. Theater going has plummeted. Yeah, on Broadway. You think people are staying in because they're afraid of terrorism in Greenville? It's a national trend. You sound ridiculous. Well, maybe I am ridiculous. Yeah, maybe you are. <sighs> it was easier when your dad was still around. At least we had more than just my income to work with. And then he goes and runs off. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, 
He, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west for work. <laughs> well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him. Like I always did. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. <sighs> you idealize your father, you know that? And... I just... <sighs> don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. <laughs> Stony. <laughs> hey, trust me, I'm just thinking of you. Easy to forget. About weekends here, every day is a work day for me. Hey Dad, what's up? Not much at work right now, but good to hear from you. How was work going? How was work going? Good, making money. Would you be able to send some money back to help me and Mum? I don't know if Mum told you, but we are moving out next week. I think it's going to be hard for Mum to pay for rent and a new place. You should write that. Do you think you could send some money back to help? I'd love to, kid, but right now my liquid assets are all tied up in reinvesting at work. If I sent enough back, that could help you work me down. Without it sinking my business out here, you know, I would. But your mum's always been the smart one. She'll figure things out, don't worry. Okay. You understand? Yep. Yep. Did you tell your mum you bought tickets? Not yet. Me and mum actually on a road trip right now. We are investing, gating our family mystery and going to her old summer house. Can you believe it? Wow, you need to tell her, kiddo, or else I will earn, you know, we shriek. Okay, okay, I promise I will, I said. I know you will. Love you actually have to get back to it now. Treat your mum nice. See you soon. Are you sending text messages to someone? Yes. Yes, I am. To who? It's to whom, Mother? It was Dad. Hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh... No comment. It's alright. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or Dad's. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's... Not supposed to. Are we there yet? <laughs> Achievement. Okay. Well, I'll be going on for another 20 30 minutes. Mom! My and then God. I need to wrap up and have okay? my dinner. Because I'm getting hungry. I just didn't think before, it would still and, be here. Um, so I could have my dinner before my next um, stream. Mom, it, which will be well, continuing. It is. <laughs> Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And it looks to be surprisingly well preserved. It's, well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Rundown? Weathered than the last time I was here. But I guess I am too. Want to start looking around? Yeah.
Is this, uh... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like towed by a big truck. Go on. <sighs> a mobile home doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. Mom, you know what it sounds like. You had a Francine. <laughs> I guess I did. I've never heard of Lori before. Are you still in touch with her? It was short for Dolores. Maybe you've heard me talk about my old friend Dolores? No, I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, we haven't spoken in years. One of those friends you have in high school and then college happens and, you know... That's never gonna happen with me and Francine. We'll still be friends when I'm as old as you. A very long time from now. Like, so long from now. Wait, you're not implying I'm old? No, of course not. But God, it's gonna be a long time from now. Family garden. Maureen Henson, her fabulous TV debut. Locked. Maybe the little key? From Grandma's diary? Nope. What secrets might you hold, little drawer? Find a key for the drawer. Look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me at the fair. Kurt? We, well, we met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I, well, was he cute? I thought he was huh. very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? It... Well, honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh... Cool? On his motorcycle? <laughs> he was very... romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well, a little like that. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> so, what happened? Did you break up with him, or...? Uh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing, it doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things?
Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Mm, it's a maintenance hatch for getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. So we've got to go round to the back. What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. So, this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So, this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? <laughs> Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Anybody out there? Hello? <laughs> Ooh, this is good. Mom's gotta see this. Hey, I'm top. I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom? I found something. Look, look! Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like... well... It looks like a boat. A houseboat. Hmm. Can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near... Trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down. <laughs> What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think, look, we could twist the latch open if, I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um, oh, I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Nice.
we've got to go back to the van. Which way? This way? This way? I don't know which. What the hell? Which way? I'll use an axe, yeah. <laughs> Can I speed up? Walking... Walking slow. Back of the fan. This fan? It's your cool van. And it's locked. Gotta keep all mm. the cool stuff in there secure. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. They might have been... Hmm... I can't remember. Don't do this to me, Mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. Please. Oh, August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Oh, the little criminal. All right, I'm on the case. The cool stuff is so close, I can taste it. Mm. Alright, slow walk back to the back door. Diddly diddly dee dee, diddly diddly do, diddly diddly dee dee, diddly diddly dee. What's this about? Oh, that was the town where Kurt lived. You know, we were a summer thing, but we were planning on how we could keep seeing each other once we both went home after the summer. I guess I was feeling pretty lost. I latched onto him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. And that didn't work out? Yeah, like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? Oh, it was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually when I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and he flagged me down. He said... There was a problem with the production. He was so distracted by my beauty that he couldn't pay attention to anything else going on in the play. Aw, that's so romantic. It's like something out of a rom-com. I, I found it endearing at the time. He was very persistent. Was Dad big into local theater? Uh, no. He told me later that he'd actually been at the play on a date with someone else. He told her he needed to head home, then hung around the theater to talk to me. <laughs> wow. Bold. Did you find that endearing? I guess at the time I found it flattering. And a little funny. <laughs> I should have realized it was a red flag. Wait, are... Are you saying Dad cheated on you? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Just... Uh... You know, it's a sleazy move. So... Not the kind of thing Kurt would have done? Oh, I don't know. Mm. Go mechanics! Oh, man. I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Fort State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. I'm not going to be a triple legacy. I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. 
What kind of choice is that, to be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18... Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. Well, howdy there. What's your name, buddy? Hmm. Oh, how fun. Wait, did they not get to use these? Hmm. No video games back then, I guess. Poor, deprived kids. Aha! This must be the key to the van! Must be key to the van? Poor kid. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little. But she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know. Oh my god, oh, um, oh, oh my wow. Have Demonologist. So <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I'm here. Goodbye. <laughs> I'd recognize that penmanship anywhere. This piece was clearly done by an accomplished artist. A cartographic prodigy? Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was going to come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, <laughs> a concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. Mm. You're just looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. Don't get too nosy, all right? All right, all right. But look at all this stuff. Ah, oh, alas. Not so groovy anymore. Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Wow. Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But kind of fair. Right. I'll leave that on the screen so you can read that while I uh, have drink a little bit more coffee.
Okie doke. Don't think we could move. There's a screwdriver. I think. Hmm. How is the stuff? Cool as you'd hoped. You were right. There was a screwdriver in the glove box. Perfect. Let's give it a try on that door. Let's give it a try on that door. Right, I'm going to do this chat and then I'm going to have to wrap up because I need my dinner before my next stream with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, door. Ah, door. We meet again. But this time, I'm ready for you. There we go. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. Well, I don't know. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit longer than last night's stream, uh, for a stick, but not too, too long. Probably two, two, two hours to two and a half, maybe. Because remember, we are doing a movie night on Discord later, I believe. Right, is there a save button or is it auto save? Might be auto save. But I do need to hopefully that there is an auto save there. Um but yeah, I'm really enjoying the game. Really enjoying the game. So I will be back with some more of this tomorrow. Um not sure what time. Not sure what time though tomorrow I'll be back with this. Um because tomorrow we're doing ready or not at the earlier time of three PM UK time. It's so that let's one of our friends join. So we'll be doing ready or not with Da Vinci Gaming and friends tomorrow at 3 p.m. UK time. About what is it? One, two, about four hours earlier than usual, and we'll be doing it that type new time slot, 3 p.m. UK time, Wednesdays and Fridays every week from now on. Um, so, um, yeah, so, um, I'll be back a little bit later with some more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. But, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. Um, I'll probably will get this, uh, scheduled in for tomorrow evening sometime, probably after we've wrapped up, uh, Ready or Not tomorrow. So, um, so our fir my first stream will be Ready or Not tomorrow at 3pm UK time. And then, um, a little bit later on in the evening, I'll do some more open roads. Um, but, yeah. So once again, thank you all so much for the 13 likes. You guys are awesome. Um, but like I said, I'll be back in about an hour with some more Tomb Ra Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Continuing the story there. And um, hopefully I'll see you all there. So once again, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the likes. And I will see you all in about an hour with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Until then, bye-bye. Remember, if you are new here and you do want to see more of me, and more content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I do have plenty of games on my channel and plenty of new ones coming in the future. And also, if you do like the stream and you do like that content, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Until later, at 9pm UK time with Shadow of Tomb Raider, goodbye. <laughs>